Okay, so now we've added our category, we're going to add a product. So we go back up to products and we click on then products again. This will be the loaded up the products page. As you can see, we've got all these products already in there. All we need to do now is click on add product. Okay, and you can give your product a name. So what we're going to put on here is fish fingers. Okay, and now we've got under here add categories. So click on add categories. This will pop up a little window and you should see the category we added at the bottom here called frozen foods. So we just click on that, add categories and close. And now we need to give the category a price, um, the product price even, which we're going to say is one ninety nine. And you can give it a full description. Uh, so put let's say fish fingers box of eight. You could obviously put whatever you wanted in there. Um, this product's going to be active, so we're going to leave it like that. We can now select an image. You can select local, which will select it from your computer which we're going to do for this case. And then we, yeah, we're going to select fish fingers image. You don't need to worry about resizing your images since it would automatically create a thumbnail for them anyway. Alternative text is worth adding since this is good for search engines, so we're going to call it fish fingers. Product code, you could add your product code in here depending if you've already got one for that product, but we're going to put 106 for this product. This price, obviously, this is just your manufacturer's suggested retail price. We'll just leave it as 199 in there as well. You can put stock in there so you can keep control, control of your stock. We'll put this 10 available. And we can much as well leave the rest taxes, include VAT. We can take that. Search engine optimization and metadata. We can add a page title like we did for the category. We call that one bird size fish fingers. And you could obviously add a description, so you could also put in a pack of bird's eye. Pack of bird's eye fish fingers in there as well. Okay, and then all you need to do is press create and save. Or we'll create and close. Now we'll put you back to this page, and there you are. You've got fish fingers in there now, product code 106 at 199. So if you go back to your main home page, and we just give this another reload a minute. And now we're going to click on the frozen foods category. And there you have it, fish fingers in stock. Click on your fish fingers, and you'll see it there, box of eight fish fingers. And you can click on the image, and it will enlarge your fish fingers. And that's all you have to do to add a product. Welcome to a short tutorial about adding categories to your CS cart. Once you've logged in, you'll be displayed with this page. And what we need to do is go to products. And then down to categories to add a new category. Once this page is loaded up, you will see the categories we've added before all listed down here below. To simply add a new category, just click on add category. And then you will be sent to this page, and you can type in a name for your category. For this category, we're going to call it Frozen Foods. And then you can give it the description, and we're going to put a selection of Frozen Foods. You can call it whatever. And you'll see the status. We're going to set it to active because we want it to display. Otherwise, you can set it to hidden or disabled. You could also add an image if you wanted to, but in this case we're not going to add the image. Uh, below you've got a search engine optimization and metadata. You could give it a page title. We're going to call this Frozen Foods. This is mainly for a search engine so that when someone searches this page it would give the page title of Frozen Foods. You could also give a description so you could put a selection of Frozen Foods again in there if you wanted to. And then you can just leave the rest as default for now, and all we're going to do is click Create and Close. Okay, and there you have it. You've now got frozen foods in your categories list, and if you go back to your main site, uh, just refresh this page, and you'll see down here we've now got a new category called frozen foods. And that's all.